Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Excel TV. Today, we would like to share how to create a stopwatch in Excel. Firstly, select a cell, adjust the width and the height if needed, or we can simply select a few cells and merge them. Now, let's type the time in the format that we want. Format the cell according to our preferences, for example, increase the font size. Next, go to Developer tab, click on Insert. Insert a command button by using the ActiveX controls. Insert at the desired place. Click on Properties. Format the button according to our preferences. For example, we can first change the caption to Start. We could also change the back color if needed as well as the font and the font style. Select the desired style and click on OK. Close the window and click on the stopwatch. Check the name at the name box which is B2. And now click on the command button and double click. Right click here. Since we want to update the time whenever needed, so we need loop. In this video, I'm going to use the do loop. So we do well through. And now update the time. So we need to call the stopwatch which is located on sheet 1. So we have sheet 1 dot cells dot range. Bracket the name of the cell that is B2. Remember to use quotation marks as string. Close bracket. We can update the time by using date at function bracket interval as string. If you want to update the time in terms of second, use the letter S. Also type together with quotation mark since it must be string. Comma number as double. If you want to increase the time, use positive value. If you want to decrease the time, use negative value value. For example, if you want to determine the times left every second, so we have positive 1, comma, date, which is the original time or the current time. We can copy the cell name and paste it here. Close bracket and press enter. And we should update the time every second. So we need an application. So we have application dot wait. We should wait for one second before next. Start waiting from now. Plus one second. To use one second, use this format. We have hashtag 12 colon 00 colon 01 am Hashtag again to indicate one second. Close bracket and press enter. Finish the first second, we should continue to the next, which means that we need loop. Of course, we should consider the user might want to stop or pause at any point of time. To ensure that the stopwatch is running smoothly, we need two events at within any part of the loop. So we have two events here. And now let's consider to add some conditions. Since I'm going to use this command button to start, resume, pause, or even stop the time, so we should write a condition to change the color as well as the caption back to visual basic before the loop at condition so we have if sheet one dot command button one dot caption is equal to start also type within quotation marks we can use the caption as indicator if that is the case we should now change to pause or even stop since pull and stop should act exactly the same. Copy and paste it here. Now we set equal to pause or stop. Also within the quotation marks. Press enter and now consider to change the color. So we have shift one dot command button one dot back color. We can consider to change to red. Press enter and now consider to change the full color. That is the font color dot command button one dot full color. And we can consider to change to white color. We have we be white. If not this case we have else which means that if not start it might be pause or stop so we have else here we can copy whatever we have here and paste it here change the caption of course we couldn't have start again since it might be pause so we have resume and i'm going to change back to green color and for the font color change back to black since we have another indicator so we should copy this and include in the first condition use the all logical operation and now back to the second condition if the user instructs to a pause or stop which means that we should stop holding so we should end the procedure start with if of course we need to end with if and now let's consider to let the user to reset the time back to the spreadsheet i'm going to use another command button insert at the desired place also click on properties change the caption color as well as the font if needed close the window and double click on the button since we are intended to reset which means that the time should set back to zero copy the cell name and paste it here and now we can set back to zero start again so we have to change the caption back to start of course if you don't want to show the reset button all the time we can consider to show only if needed in other words we should consider to change the visibility of the reset button so we have sheet one dot command button two dot visible change to false since the time is just reset which means that at the moment the command button two is no longer needed so we set to false we can copy this and consider to include at the 
condition port. When the time is just started, the reset button is also not needed, so we can add it here. But when it is paused, instead of consider to resume, the user could consider to reset. So we should change to through. And the coding part is now considered done. Of the design mode, click on start, disappear, change color, change caption, running. Click again, change color, appear, stop or pause. Resume again, running, change color, change caption. Press again, change color, stop, and we can now reset. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a like this. See you.